The name Kenai to most people evokes visions of Alaska's greatest river, a river of almost mythical stature, the home of giant salmon, which are abundant in number and huge in size. But there's more to the Kenai than just the river. The Kenai is a vast peninsula in the southwestern corner of central Alaska, the home of the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge. The pristine habitat of the refuge includes environments as diverse as mountain glaciers, alpine tundra, forest lands, lakes, and marshes. It's these habitats incorporated in the almost two million acres of the wildlife refuge, which provide nurseries for the abundant Kenai salmon and trout, as well as a home for mammals such as moose, bear, and caribou, to name just a few. Some of these deep pools, Charlie, um, hold silvers when the silvers are running in the Swanson River uh, in late August and September. As I learned in my travels with refuge officer Rick Johnston, the refuge provides habitat for healthy populations of wildlife. Rick, the Swanson River, um, this is part of the canoe trail. Yes, this uh, about 42 miles of the Swanson River, uh, Swan Lake canoe routes uh, is on the Swanson River. And uh, it's, a, it's a real nice river for lots of different kinds of activities. Looks to me like there should be some trout in here somewhere. Yeah, there's a there's real uh, real good population of uh, trout in here. In fact, the state of Alaska uses some of the uh, original genetic stock for, from this river for some of their uh, lake stocking programs in the Matanuska Valley. Let's see, how about over in there? All right. Hey, this is cool. I like I like this plenty well. Amazing color. Look at that. This is, this is a genetically amazing fish. I've never seen anything that looked like that. By Alaskan standards, the Kenai is a small refuge. But even the most hardened explorer could spend months here and not know the whole area. Some people have called it Alaska in miniature just because of the outstanding uh, wildlife. About how many miles of canoe trails are in here? About 150 miles um, altogether, though, with s some little secret lakes that you can portage to from the main trails, you could probably uh, add several miles to that, uh, that trail figure. But 150 miles of marked and portage trails and then the river system. The refuge at 1,970,000 acres is so big that it's impossible to see it all. To get an overview of its size and diversity, Rick loaded me into a float plane and we headed for the high country. We flew up a broad plateau. Below us on a snow field, a herd of caribou was escaping the summer heat. Then even higher, the peaks and glaciers of the Kenai Range and the Harding Ice Field marked the border of the refuge. We flew down a vast canyon, cut by the Skelac Glacier, and then we landed on the robin's egg blue waters of Skelac Lake. Islands in the center of the lake provide a rookery for cormorants and gulls, and everywhere on the refuge there's some place to cast a fly, which is what I did. Some places I just caught small fish. Some places I caught no fish. Oh, there we go. Nope. A weed. And in other places. In the net! <laughs> yes! All right! I caught fish That's like perfect. no other. But look at it. Look at this fish. But the Kenai National Wildlife Refuge offers a thousand places to try your luck. And I'll be back to try mine again.
Not much, Father Charlie. I see some lake. Okay, great. 